Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video we'll be looking at how to work with header transparency in Avada layouts. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. I've imported the online tutor pre-built website here, and as we can see on the home page, the second container in the header is transparent with the background of the top page container coming up under the header. For more details on how to build headers in Avada, please see the link docs and videos. But for this video, we just want to focus on the transparency aspect of the header here. So if I go to the header layout section, we can see there are two containers. The first one is the top bar with the contact details and social links, and this container has a solid background colour. The container below that however, with the logo and the menu, is fully transparent, so that the background image of the page's top container moves up and displays behind it. So if we edit this container, and head to the background tab, we can see here that the container background colour is indeed transparent. But it's the next step that completes the process. If we now head to the extras tab, we can see that the position absolute option is set to on, though not for small screens, as can be seen in the next option. What the position absolute option does is to let the container know it has a fixed position, and so it is taken out of the normal page flow, and this allows the page content to rise up underneath it so its content goes behind the header container. Obviously this method only works well when there is some sort of background content at the top of the page as it is used on, like a background image or colour. You wouldn't want your titles or body text coming up under the header. If I just change to small screens, you can see there is no position absolute set here, so the page content sits below the header. Ok, another possible option with this header might be to add a gradient with partial transparency to that second container, rather than making it fully transparent. The pre-built website doesn't have this, but let's see how this would be done. So I'll head to the background tab, and this time I'll go to the gradient tab. Here I will set the start gradient to colour 1, and then in the global colour options, I'll introduce some transparency to that white by reducing the alpha channel a little. I could adjust the start and end positions of the gradient type, but here I'm happy with the defaults. And if I just pop into preview, we can see both the gradient and the transparency at play. Any level of transparency could also be added to the header container if and when it was sticky. If we come back to the extras tab again, we can see underneath the position absolute options is a position sticky option. This enables this container to be sticky, and just below that option is now a sticky container background colour option, where we can control the colour of the container when it's sticky. In this case, let's say we don't want the header completely transparent, but in fact only want a little bit of transparency. So I'll set the background colour to colour 1, and again apply some transparency to the alpha channel. So now if I save this header, and return to the front end and refresh, we can now see our menu container has a gradient with transparency, and when I scroll, we can see the container goes sticky, and that now it takes on the sticky container background colour which is white with 10% transparency. Ok, that's header transparency in Nevada layouts. There are many possibilities here. Make sure to also look at the working with sticky containers doc linked below, which covers some of the other cool options with sticky containers. Ok, this concludes our video on how to work with header transparency in Avada layouts. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.